there, Pastor Carl here to give you an update of what is ahead this coming Lord's Day, Sunday, September 8, 2024. Don't miss out on the opportunities that are available at 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. We have great classes for our youth, for our children, what we call our ABS, which is our adult Bible study classes. Uh, this week, and the bridge class, Brother Danny Williams, is going to be Continuing this series in Behold Our God, looking at the various attributes of God. This time it's talking about the holiness of God. This will be part one. As Providence would have it, in the Truth Seekers class being taught by Brian Stutz, they're working through the book of Ephesians, and the next section that they will begin looking at this Sunday is Ephesians 4, 17 through 32, and the topic is walking in holiness. So there's a definite emphasis going on here. You're going to hear the holiness of God whichever class you come to. So come and join one of these classes. Then at 11 o'clock I'll be continuing our series in the book of 1 Samuel looking at chapter 6 verses 13 through 21. The ark has left the boundaries of Philistia. It's come back to Israel to the town of Beth Shemesh. The people of Beth Shemesh are celebrating the return of the ark to Israel. This included a grand sacrifice and the establishment of a monument. However, for all of their celebration, the people rationalized a peek into the ark. The curious but careless act was met with God's swift hand of correction. This reminds us that as we celebrate that we are more than conquerors in Christ, we must also always approach God with a spirit of reverence and care. And so come and explore that text with me on Sunday morning. In the evening service, we'll be continuing the series in James and talking about uh, this particular week, James 3, verse 13 through 18. Christian competent. Everyone has reasons for their choices and actions, but what is the basis for your reasoning? How can people come to opposing positions and yet both feel justified in their actions? You see, the natural man follows earthly wisdom, but as believers, we're called to follow wisdom dispatched from God above. So what are the marks of such wisdom and what difference does it make? We're going to be looking at that. Things coming up on the calendar. The next big thing is we have one of our own missionaries coming back home on furlough. Uh, Brother Steve McLean and his family, they're missionaries in Wales. They'll be with us on the evening of September 15th. Looking forward to hearing what God is doing in the mission work there. They've been faithful for so many years there and just really meshed into that community and culture and done a faithful job of sharing the gospel. So excited to have them back with us. October 1st, first Tuesday of October, we start a Good News Club. We could still use some helpers. If you're interested in uh, helping out, please let us know. We'd love to add a few more volunteers to that. And then, of course, in less than a month, we'll be celebrating the church anniversary on October 6th. This is 25 years. we got some neat things planned for that day. Hope to see you this Sunday at Anchor. Music